All right, everyone. Today we'll be doing a crushed painting. Uh, we're going to be using... Now, there's a specific reason I'm doing a crushed painting today. I, uh, I went out and I finally was able to get some more gloss enamel. Uh, it's been nice to, to pick some up. Anyway, I've got some pink here and I've got some almost like a lime green. Um, and then I've got some white. And the specific reason for that is because... I want to do a crushed painting that's almost like a floral painting, right? So that's got some some pink and some white in it. Uh, so almost like flowers. So I want to kind of make a floral type crushed painting today. So as always, we're going to go ahead and tape our paper down, watercolor paper. And uh, I did, I couldn't find acrylic paper at my local art store, local craft store. Um, I could probably... There is a, like a, a arts craft store, like a, not just like a hobby store like Michael's or Joann's or anything like that, but there's an actual art supply store uh, about an hour away. It's a little, little far of a drive, especially in the middle of town. So I don't like to go there very often. Um, however, they might have bigger sheets of acrylic paper. So I may have to go there again in the near future just to kind of branch out and get some more supplies but for now we're okay to use this watercolor paper it's pretty thick uh, it's like 144 pounds per square sheet or whatever the measurement for paper is um, so anyway all right so we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw our gloves on because we're going to make a mess i already know it and we'll just kind of you know prepare for that now a lot of people were asking me for a Pollock style painting, and now that I've done one for my thousand subscribers, a lot of people have joined this channel specifically for Pollock style paintings, and I can appreciate that. However, Pollock style paintings are not the only ones I'd like to do, and I think if I only did those, the channel would get very stale. You know, they, they all kind of tend to look alike after a while. Yes, you can use different colors, sure, but at the same token, if you look at some of Pollock's work, some of the paintings do look very similar because they would all look that way. So I will be doing another Pollock style painting uh, in the future. I may try to do like one a month or every couple weeks if possible, but please understand that it's not, I'm not able to do all of those paintings only just because the channel would get kind of boring if I did. So anyway, let's move, go ahead and pop our paint open and we'll give it a good stir and then we will get to crushing. Now if you've never seen any of my videos, um, sometimes I use acrylic and uh, but for the most part I, I tend to use gloss enamel and if you don't know gloss enamel is just a really shiny house paint. Uh, they use it on like fire hydrants and railings like banisters and stuff like that. The stuff where Usually it's like really shiny metal objects that have been painted over tend to have this. They use it on fire trucks, things like that. So that's the type of paint that we're using. And the brand that I use is Dunn Edwards, which is out here in Arizona. I don't know where else it is, so I couldn't tell you to try it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to give these a good stir. Now, just looking at the cap, the cap is a little dry, so I wonder if this uh, gloss enamel paint's been sitting here for a little while. I'm assuming they uh, they probably don't sell a whole lot of the gloss enamel at the paint store, just because it's a very unique thing. Um, you know, they probably sell a lot of the, the regular types of paint, like eggshell or you know whatever people buy for. For, paint, uh, for painting their house. All right, so let's get this all stirred up. Looks like we're already making a little bit of a mess on these cans, but that's okay. I mean, life is messy, so may as well enjoy it. So get that one, get stir. And I think, oh boy, I just stuck my stir stick in there upside down. Uh, I have no excuses. All right. Good stir. Cool, cool. All right. 
So I think we're good. I think we've got it nice and stirred. And the paint is nice and nice and thin. You can see that it's really, um, you know, it's really running. It's good. All right. So what we're going to do here, if you've never seen me do one of these uh, dabbed paintings, I should say. Dabbed. If I say crushed earlier, really, I meant dabbed. It's a completely different type of painting. Uh, if you've never seen me do any of these, you know, dabbed paintings, then what I do is I basically put paint all over the, the painting and then slowly just kind of crush the paint. So we are crushing it, but we're dabbing it over and over again across the painting to make these really dynamic, almost like star fire prints. Don't know how to say it, but you'll see as we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our white here and we're really just going to kind of put it in pockets and that's very heavy. I feel like I'm going to drop it, so best that I don't. So I will go ahead and run my paint into some some little pockets here. And we'll do some down here. And I think I'll just do a little bit there, a little bit there. And it doesn't look like much now, but that's okay. We're going to do probably a lot of green, because the green will represent the leaves or the petals. Um, so we're going to do that. I'm just going to put a little paint there, there, and an accent there. And then we will go ahead and do our green. So again, I think I'll probably need a decent amount of green. So I'll just go ahead and put this kind of all over. Really just make sure I fill in the painting, because uh, I don't want any white spots from the paper showing. And right there. Okay. I think we're good. All right, so now what we do is we take a piece of corrugated plastic. Um, this is from an old sign that I found um, that someone was throwing away. So I just took it. You can see it's got the little ridges inside. It's just like corrugated cardboard, you know, like a, for a box. It's got the waves inside. Well, it's plastic. You can get it. Um, you can get these at Home Depot. That's the first place I ever got one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and push this paint out. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more white right there. Okay, cool. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and slowly just kind of squish the paint. So we're going to dab it. And what this is going to do is it's going to push it out in different directions. And we're going to just kind of pull it into the areas where there's not a lot of paint. So we're going to try to take the, the high paint areas and transfer that paint to low paint areas and you want to start with if you have white you want to start with white um, like dabbing into the white paint first and then kind of move into the other colors afterwards you're, you you kind of want to go light to dark is essentially uh, kind of how you want to do this and the reasoning for that is because the colors are going to start mixing after a while and so if you can delay it as long as possible by going over the same colors or by going light to dark, you won't see it as much. So another issue that I run into is that the paper tends to kind of warp underneath me. And so I kind of have to pull those colors to outskirts so I have to try to pull those big pools of color out so we're gonna go over that and pull that out and so it looks like we've got a little bit of space here so we're gonna kind of pull that out now I'm just gonna look for any gaps in color, which there are. And again, you can see that it's starting to turn like a purple because we're going over it too many times. So let's take a look here. We'll take stock. Okay, good there, good there, good there. What I'm looking for is uh, gaps in paint, which there are some up here. So I'll just kind of blend that in. All right, so that 
that's good. Just kind of pull those into each other. And there are a few gaps in the metal, so. And there's some right there, so we'll just kind of pull that. And, oh, there's some, some gaps here. So I'm gonna pull some of this paint out. And now here's where we run into the problem. I've got too much of that almost purple color on there now. So now if I keep going over it, it will keep pulling it out. I don't want that because then it will just make my colors muddy. So we'll just kind of pull those in and tie them in. bit of coloration there, still a little bit, okay, that should be good, filling in the gaps, almost done, okay, all right, I think we're out good okay so we're good we can go ahead and pull off the tape and we're gonna have to kind of move quick because I have to dry this painting before it sets because oh, masking tape caught in the paper I think we're good. I'm just going to pull straight back. Alright, well, that's a little unfortunate that it ripped. Even if, like, that were an issue, we could, like, we would mat the painting anyway. So the mat would be, you know, would cover actually a lot of that. I don't know if I could kind of cover up that. I think we can pull some of that out. So I know how that kind of looks in that, but if it were, if it had a mat over it, you wouldn't see the edges anyway. So not too bad. Um, I do need to dry it, but I'll go ahead and do that off camera just so that, you know, that's done. But I'll go ahead and show you guys just so you can kind of get a, you know, see it. And now it's super bright in here, so you should be able to see all the colors. So let me kind of show some of the texture here and you can see like the 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 waves of the green and kind of how they would represent like petals or you know the leaves uh, and then the white and the purple would obviously be the flowers but overall I, I kind of like it it's pretty cool turned out about as good as I thought 
and uh, you know other than the fact that it ripped on the side a little unfortunate but not overall pretty decent painting so uh, yeah that's it guys I'll catch you guys in the next one take care